I'm Scorpio Sagittarius to your August 28th through the 31st reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Best message, please, for the 28th through the 31st. 28th through the 31st. Well, if you feel like there's not a, enough prosperity going around right now, it might just be a good time to start cleansing the energy a little bit, guys. Um, it does feel like there is maybe a little bit of worry about not having enough right now. Um, let's see what's going on. Clarifying on the inference in reverse. Yeah, money. Talking about that money and feeling like something is going backwards, something is not going right, something is not moving in the direction that you want it to direct, uh, to go in. Everything's a little slow when it comes to getting to what you're looking for at this time. Um, really being committed, though, to working at a pace that you can really um, really get at. But I do feel with the higher faith that there, that cleansing I was feeling is really coming through. That's that cleansing, that faith, that, that you know, needing to know what you um, really you're going after kind of a pivotal moment in your journey right now to get to the greatness that you're looking for. Just remember the world is your oyster. Um, and sometimes though, it's hard to get <laughs> the oyster shell open. Um, but with the three of swords over here, it's saying, go ahead and separate yourself from, you know, any kind of negative mode that could be actually trying to uh, bring this on because there it is. That way you can know that the world is your oyster. Um, some messages coming in, trying to get up the ladder. There is something, too, that you're really, really far, you know, wrapped up into. So whatever it is that's going on, it feels like you're really wrapped up into this. Um, but there could be need, needing some kind of readjustment. Maybe, like I said, in the energy, um, overworking yourself, um, kind of like overworked, underpaid type of scenario. But you might just need, you know, whether it's readjusting what you're doing or just readjusting the energy in itself. Take some time to rest. Um, so that way you can get to where you need to be. Yeah. Not feeling like whatever you're doing is actually accomplishing anything that you're really looking for. Um, make sure that you are trusting in the process of what you are doing. Uh, greatness comes in so many ways. Um, I, I do feel like, you know, you do have a lot of ideas and a lot of things that are coming towards you. I think it's just not being able to get them to where you want them to be. time traveling towards you know, the money I need. The truth is, is the balance of the situation so that that way you can actually have that trust and the, and the balance going and aligning yourself with the situation. There are some open doors and a lot of ideas going around. You might even be multitasking a lot right now um, and maybe this is kind of putting you all over the place. Um, so I do kind of feel like you might be pulled in different directions at this time as well. So therefore you can't really 100% keep the promise to yourself to get something done when you're being pulled all over the place, whether it's by somebody else or just trying to take on too much um, of one thing. Sometimes our creative minds too get to this point where we get too creative, but then we kind of lose focus on what it is we're truly looking for. So it causes this inner con confusion. And we see the confusion with the two of swords in reverse. Um, so definitely talking about misdirection. Um, make sure that you are counting on the days that you promise yourself to be able to do the things you need, making sure that you are taking the leaps of faith where it's needed. Oh, yeah, because of the backwards again. Again, Knight of Swords upside down, right, next to each other. Taking a backwards pull. So you definitely need to separate so that way you can. It's all about cleansing energy and really focusing and getting intuitive on what it is you really, truly want at this time. It's kind of working on your emotions at this time, too, so make sure that you do move in the right direction. Um, then you'll have the moving up the ladder with the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So, you know, there is a lot of good fortune that comes from what you're doing. It just feels like it's kind of being pulled in so many different directions. It also could be time-based as well. I do feel like for some of you, there's not any many days. <laughs> there's not many hours in the days that I need. Like, I need more time. 24 hours is not enough. Um... And if you are starting to try to make a, you know, make your own business or starting up some kind of a new job, um, you might be trying to, you know, 
take on the path too fast, getting ahead of yourself. There's something also, yes, definitely about getting ahead of yourself. But you are passionate about what you're doing and you really want to make that money and you really want to pull where you really want to pull. Um, you do have support around you from some kind of maybe another Scorpio. Um, do you have support around you, maybe by a Scorpio or a Pisces, that is playing some kind of factor over here? Um, it actually feels like because of the three of coins over here, this person that you are dealing with, they are supportive, but they may be a little uncomfortable um, to deal with at this time. Maybe they're pushing you in too many areas or confusing you. Um, however it is, it is the support that you need in your goals. I just feel like they're doing something that makes you feel a little uncomfortable. I feel like maybe they're interfering too much or telling you what to do too much or something of this nature, but I do feel uncomfortable with the Three of Coins up in reverse because the Three of Coins in reverse is kind of like you're more of a tag-along, you're more in the way than you're actually helping at this time. They could be great support, but why are you in the way? So I kind of feel like they're more in the way than they're actually really 100% supporting you. It's kind of crazy, though, because they could be great support if they just slow down, kind of frustrating you a little bit. But the lovers over here is just really talking about that good fortune, right? That luck. And here you have the luck here, too. So it says even though you feel like you're not traveling on the path that you want, you still have the good luck and the good fortune, right? And if you're talking about love, um, right, maybe it's your love who's frustrating you at this time as you're trying to do something. Um, you know, they're still there to give you great love. It can be, you know, it can be a lot better than it is. It just feels like somebody's really frustrating you. <clears throat> But also with the lovers, though, remember the lovers, too, on a creative side, guys. Let's not forget about that. Don't shy away from your emotions. Oh, my God, I see that here. Don't shy away from those emotions, right? Make sure that you're, you're getting the great rewards that you need from both sides, right? When you're really starting to think about things. But that's where the balance is really going to come from, from the Justice card, trying to really get yourself balanced. <clears throat> okay and if this is with this romance over here that could also be frustrating if this person's kind of in the way right now while you're trying to do and maybe they're the ones too that are pulling you left and right while you're trying to do something else um let's see what love has to say over here because we know that they're yeah worth waiting for exactly they'll be there they have the romantic feelings like i said because it feels like they could do so much more except for frustrate you right now and they're just kind of in the way so i definitely feel there is romantic free you know uh, feelings and everything about this situation it's just that they're a little more buggy than they should be kind of tipping the scales right now okay and that was it for you my friends until next time peace and love Bye bye